Hello boys and girls, how are you? If you happy and you know, clap your hand. If you happy and you know, clap your hand. If you happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you happy and you know, scratch your nose. I got you. Boys and girls, it is so nice. I'm so happy to be taking us today through our lesson. My name is Teacher Brian and I want to welcome all of us to today's lesson but before we go to our today's lesson why don't we appreciate the music team in a special way let us appreciate our worship team better awesome that was amazing did you dance yeah amazing so boys and girls our theme uh, this year has been uh, new territories and boys and girls we're going through we're going through a series, uh, uh, a series of uh, slaying our giants. And so we are saying that for you to occupy a new territories, we need to slay this giant. And last week, teacher Joshua took us through another giant and he taught us how to slay that giant. Do you remember which giant was? How many remembers? Even as we remember, I trust that all of us have our pen or pencil, have our uh, notebooks, and have our Bible. Lastly, I believe that each one of us, we have our smile. Hope I'm smiling. 
Awesome. So if you have all of that, we are good to go for today's lesson. Do you remember anything in last week's lesson? Uh, tell, tell someone who is next to you. If you remember anything, what was our topic? Or what was the giant that we were slaying last week? Yes, it was the giant of selfishness. So today, we want to look at another giant and how we can slay it. Are you ready? Awesome. So today our topic is we want to look at the giant that is called a, a envy. This is the giant that we want to slay today. We want to kill it today. I wish I had a sword, but right now I have this. So we want to see how we will slay this giant in our lives and how to defeat it. Boys and girls, are we ready? Don't worry, I will tell you what it is. But before I tell you what envy is, because this is the giant that we are looking at it today, I have a story. And today I want to tell my own story. You want to hear my own story? When I was in primary school, around uh, grade 4, 5, grade 3 there, I used to be the best almost in everything, in every subject. Which subjects do you know? Math, English, sciences. I was the best. Then one day, a friend of mine started to become the best in everything. The way he used to dress, the way he used to perform, and he used to receive nice comments from teachers. And that made me feel so bad to an extent that I started hating him. I even started to wish bad things happened to him because I thought I was the only one who was supposed to do that. Why is he doing this? Why is he being the best in everything? Why is he dressing well and I'm, I'm not that? Why is he receiving a nice... Uh, even, even in sports, he used to win everything and receive those trophies. And it used to make me, it used to make me feel bad. Boys and girls, are you like me when I was a kid? So that feeling, boys and girls, when you feel bad when someone else succeeds, that feeling uh, when you feel bad when someone has a nice toy or a nice bike or a nice maybe storybook, a nice phone, yeah, a nice pencil, name them, what else? Yeah, so when you have that feeling uh, that is, and is normally bad, that feeling is what we call envy and so boys and girls envy is that feeling that you have uh, that you want things that belongs to other people and not only that you want them you feel that you should be the only one who should have those things and sometimes you feel that when maybe mommy and daddy comment something on our brothers or sisters or our relatives or our friends or maybe especially the firstborn when another baby comes and the things you used to enjoy, you no longer enjoy them. It, it becomes uh, the, 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 the baby who follows you starts to enjoy them and it makes you feel bad. That is envy, boys and girls. And so today we want to see how we will overcome that feeling. But before we see how to overcome that feeling, let us go to our Bible story and see someone who had the same feeling and what happened to him. Are you ready? Awesome. So our story comes from the book of First Samuel chapter 18 verse 1 to 11. And because of time, boys and girls, allow me to narrate and then I will read some portions of it. Okay? So this story has how many characters? Has how many characters? Three. And one of them is Saul, King Saul, who was the king of Israel. Another one was Jonathan, who was King Saul's son, or Israel prince at that time. And there's another one who is a good friend of mine called David. David was Jonathan's best friend. And so Jonathan really loved David. He really loved David like a brother. To, to, some, to, to some point that he used to share everything. Even one day, Jonathan, the Bible says in verse 4, allow me to read for you, boys and girls. It says, 
uh, from verse 3. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Verse 4, boys and girls says, Jonathan took off the robe. And you know, this is a prince. So his attire, he took it off the, the robe that he was wearing and gave it to David. Are we seeing Jonathan loving David? And not only that, along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow and his belt, he took all that and gave it to David because he loved David and he used to celebrate David whenever David was successful in missions that they, were, they used to go uh, to battle with the enemies. But on the other hand, boys and girls, we have Saul who was the king then. Saul, uh, let's hear what happens or what he did. Allow me to read from verse, from verse, from verse six, boys and girls. That is First Samuel, chapter eighteen, verse six. And the Bible says, when the men were returning home after David had killed the Philistine, the women came out from all the towns of Israel to meet King Saul with singing and dancing with joyful songs with tambourines and lutes as they dance they sing Saul has slain his thousands and David his tens of thousands boys and girls listen to what verse says verse 8 says Saul was very angry this refrain galled him they have cre credited David with tens of thousands, he thought, but me with only thousand, what more can he get but the kingdom? And from that time, King Saul kept a jealousy or envy eye on David. Verse 10 it says, The next day an evil spirit from God came forcefully upon Saul. He was prophesying in his house. While David was playing the harp, he usually did, Saul had a spear in his hand and he held it saying to himself, I'll pin David to the wall. But David eluded him twice. And so boys and girls, what can we learn from a Bible story? We are learning that envy, number one, makes us to feel bad or angry. Just as King Saul, when he heard women singing that David had killed tens of thousands and he had only killed a thousand, he got mad. He wanted the women to sing. Because he was king, he wanted the women to praise him alone. But when he heard this, he got really mad and he got angry. So envy make us to feel bad. Envy make us to feel angry. Envy make us to feel uh, to feel sad about other people's success. In other words, boys and girls, envy takes away the joy from us. Number two thing that we can see from our Bible story, boys and girls, envy make us, make us to wish bad things to happen to other people or envy make us to do bad things, boys and girls. Saul wanted to kill David twice. He wanted to kill David twice, and that is a bad thing. So envy make us to do bad things to others or make us to wish to do or to wish bad things to other people. And boys and girls, the last thing we can learn from this story, that envy makes God mad or it makes God sad. When we are envious of other people, it, made, it, it makes God to be sad. And the way King Saul, the spirit of the Lord left him because of the envious feeling. And so boys and girls, do you want to make God mad? Do you want to make God sad? How many wants to make God happy? And so what is required from us? As the book of John chapter 15 verse 12 says, Jesus is saying that my command I give you, love, love, you and love one another as I loved you. And so God, and so boys and girls, God wants us to love each one of us, just as Jonathan loved David, and he used to share things with David.
And so the only way to slay this giant of envy boys and girls, the only way to slay this giant is by loving, is by loving one another, is by loving your friends. And when you love them, the Bible says that love does not envy. When you love them, you will celebrate them. When you love them, you will wish the best to happen to them boys and girls and last but not least boys and girls we also need to trust god and obey his command to love one another and so we need to trust god uh, to help us love other people even when they are succeeding and we are not or even when they have things that we don't have Okay, boys and girls, and that is what we learned from this story. And the only way to, to slay uh, this giant of envy is by loving one another and trusting and obeying God, uh, God's command to love each other. And so, boys and girls, before we go to the next thing, why don't I uh, pray with you, especially those who have not received Jesus Christ. When you receive Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will come to you and it will teach you how to love one another. So if you are there and you want Jesus to become your Lord and Savior and friend, why don't you pray with me and repeat after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, today I accept that I'm a sinner and I welcome you into my life as my Lord, my Savior and friend. Come into my life and help me to overcome this giant of envy. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That, boys and girls, you've welcomed Jesus into your life. And so, boys and girls, now that all of us have received Jesus Christ, why don't we just pray to God to help us to love one another and to take away this feeling of envy, of envy from our lives. So why don't we just pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for teaching us today about envy, that envy uh, makes us uh, feel bad or angry. It takes the joy away from us, that envy makes us wish or do bad things to others, and that envy, oh God, is, is, does not make you happy. So Lord, we want to welcome you into our lives that you may help us to love one another and to love their success, oh God. May you help us to live a life that we cannot envy other people in a bad way. So Lord, we ask you to help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, we've come to the end of our lesson today. But before we... we we say bye, allow me to take us through our memory verse and our craft. Are we ready? And so our memory verse comes from, from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. It comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. And the Bible says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Aha. Uh -huh. What is our memory verse again? Memory verse comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4. And the Bible says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. And so boys, that is our memory verse. Make sure that by Sunday you memorize this verse. Okay? And so boys and girls, that being said and done, allow us to go to our craft. And in our craft, you need two uh, papers like this one. And you can cut using anything, maybe a cup or a tin, to just make it round like this. So you need two papers. So you need papers like this. Of course, you need scissors and you need two papers like this. And you also need two other papers where you can draft a crown and cut a crown like this one, okay? And so when you have them, boys and girls, you can, and you also need a glue or a, or a stapler, anything that you can use to stick this crown on this head like this. 
and you also need to draw to draw two eyes on the on the side and then a nose and then one one of the papers you do a smiley face and another one you do an angry or a sad face and boys and girls this is how it will be so this is king saul when he was happy but when he heard that david uh, was being praised by other people he became mad like this and so this is our craft you need to do this too and it will be like this and then here at the at the bottom you can write our memory verse and our memory verse is from the book of first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 and the bible says love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud and boys and girls that was our lesson today until next time i've been your teacher teacher brian and bye bye